So now we're going to take a look at the Fertility Food Guide Pyramid. And what you'll notice about this, uh, this food guide pyramid is the base of the food guide pyramid is produce, fresh organic produce, which is fresh fruit and fresh vegetables. This would be vegetables, dark leafy greens, and salads. And the reason this is the basis is we want to have a high amount of antioxidants and nutrients in our diet along with fiber. Dark green vegetables have tons of fiber in them. So you make, want to make sure you have at least one salad and one dark leaf vegetable per day, such as broccoli or Swiss chard. I like to do a fertility smoothie in the morning, so that takes care of most of my fruit. Next on this chart, you'll see to the left, is proteins. These will be um, fish, organic free-range meats and chicken, and also the combination of complex carbohydrates with beans or with some other vegetables and foods. Proteins is a major part of the fertility diet. And protein is helpful for many instances, but we want to make sure it's from clean sources. And next to the protein you'll see is the complex carbohydrates. These are right next to the proteins because you want to eat them in equal amounts with always with protein. And you want to make sure that the complex carbohydrates are whole. They still contain their fiber, so they're slow released into the system. And above the meats, you're going to notice there's raw dairy. And raw dairy is very beneficial for the body. We've already talked about many reasons we want to make sure that the dairy is organic. But if you cannot get it raw or organic, then don't do it at all. There are many alternatives to dairy. And to the left of that, you'll find unheated, unprocessed oils. These oils are going to be coconut oil, grapeseed oil, olive oil, flax oil. These are beneficial oils that contain essential fatty acids and you'll be using them for cooking or in your salad dressings. And at the top of the food guide pyramid, you'll notice unheated, unprocessed sweeteners. There's mainly one actually that falls into this category that I'm actually really happy with. And what it's called is agave nectar. Agave nectar is a sweetener that comes from the agave cactus plant. And the wonderful thing about this sweetener is that it is low glycemic. And what low glycemic means is that when it enters the body, it doesn't give the body the normal blood sugar spikes that normal sugars do. Even honey and molasses give your, your body these blood sugar spikes. But the agave nectar doesn't do that. So this is a great uh, sweetener that you can use while you're on the fertility diet. I use it in my cereals. I use it whenever I need a sweetener. And it's very sweet, so you don't need to use much of it. And also another alternative to sweeteners would be stevia. But I find stevia doesn't quite have that good of a taste compared to the agave nectar.